worry. Don't worry. You are from where? Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Is your daughter? Is that your daughter? Okay, don't worry. Come. Mm. I see there's a problem with this, your leg here at the back. It become numb. Huh? Huh? What is happening? It become numb. In this operation. So from time to time it become numb. Mm. Don't worry, this is a witchcraft. Are you listening? Mm. That is a prophetic message into the life of the lady. So we'll see her, please. Later on during the course of the service, Ms. Moletani then came forth to confirm the words of prophecy that was given to her. That though she was wearing a long dress, the Apostle of God revealed what was hidden to the naked eye. She then shows the number of scars she had gotten through her operations. Madam, you are welcome with us here at the Roadmap Ministry. Please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Tandi Mbajazom Lezani. I'm from here, Bloemfontein. I'm 56 years old. Thank you, Mama. You are welcome. As you were registered for prayer line by the special grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, God Almighty gave you a prophetic message to the faculties of his anointed servant, Apostle David Bonyani. Do you still remember what the man of God said to you? The man of God said to me, he sees a problem regarding my legs and the, uh, the left one has got a numbness uh, uh, at the back. Mm. I see there's a problem with this, your leg here at the back, it become numb. Huh? Huh? What is happening? It become numb. There's operation. So from time to time it become numb. Mm. Don't worry, this is a witchcraft. Are you listening? Mm. In the name of Indeed, it is true. Uh, men of God uh, saw something that I had already made peace with. And uh, it's for the f first time to hear with him that is witchcraft. This problem started in 1991, the problem of my feet. And then I, when they were painful, they will be swollen and dark, dark, dark in color. And then it, I had to not put on shoes. I had to walk with bare foot so that the, the stones can massage me when I walk. So I would even go to work without foot, uh, shoes for two years. At work, because I was an administrator in front, uh, front office for the people, I had some pushings that I left, I leave at work for me to put them on when I'm at work. It was giving me pains when I was working because uh, 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 when I walk, I would feel those pains and then it's better when I'm seated, but even when I'm seated, they will get so lean and still be painful. So it was just something that was continuing, giving me no rest. Mm. People of God, Today I'm going to shame the devil because I have done a lot. I've gone from post to pillar. I was even afraid to tell some of the things that I did because of the legs. I've been to Sangomas. I've been to whatever the church that you can tell. I've been everywhere because of these legs. I was given so many uh, advices. Uh, and the ridiculous ones. But because I was the one who was suffering, I, I did everything that they would say I was doing. Some of them, some of them, they were, and then I would stand in the water uh, with salt. After they have uh, pricked me with those, uh, uh, they will wash me with that salt. And you can understand that those things that they've done there plus salt. But nothing ever, ever helped me. 
Most of them were very much embarrassing people of God. I had this uh, Zulu man who, whom my parents took me to for help. Uh, he did whatever he did to me, Akata Hompata. And then he said, he gave the advice that every morning when I wake up, I should, uh, you know, most back then, 80s, we used to use the bucket system. Then I, um, I would take that bucket and put it more in front of the toilet. And then I would step into the bucket offices. So those were the advices that I was given. And I was doing it. I was doing it because I didn't know what I was suffering from. I was taking whatever the advice. Others would say I must take the pee in the morning. I'll go to my parents' bedroom and our bedroom. And then I would put the pee in one bucket and wash my feet with. I even drank the Bob Martins. I'm sure you know the Bob Martins is the tablet for the dogs. I, I did whatever the advice you would give me, I was doing it. People of God, when I was still young, I, I was a beauty queen. I had very big titles like Miss Black South African Taxi Association. It was known as SAPTA, Miss Majakatata, Miss Pelo High School, Miss Kutwanong. But after I was being ashamed because of this fit, because people would see me dressed nice and I had a very tiny body, but they would see me walking with barefoot, going to work. I even had to leave. Uh, where I was staying at the location uh, in, in Kutwano Modern Industries to go to my grandmother and stay in Velkom. I was very much ashamed. I was uh, like degraded from the way I used to be. Yes, I did go to the doctors, eh? so many doctors, so many hospitals. Even here in Bloemfontein, welcome, uh, Kronstadt, uh, Odenda. I've gone to so many doctors. But each doctor, when I come, they will just uh, cut me and take out that whatever they get in the wound and take it to the lab and say I should come after a week for the results. And when I come back for the results, I will just be told it's an unknown species. And they would even give me that thing. It will be just a, a hard fat, I would see. And then I would only be given a stop pain. I was never given any medication except stop pain. Thank you, Mama. As part of the message that you received, the word of prophecy also revealed the problems of numbness on your legs. How do you confirm that part to be true? It is very true. The problem of the numbness started now in December last year. I started feeling numb at the back from here on top until at the, down under the feet. And when it's numb like that, it would be in the, uh, in the night or during the day, any time. At times I'll feel it while I'm sitting in the sitting room and I will just struggle. Even if maybe I want to go to toilet, I will just struggle because now I have to jump with one leg to the toilet while the other one is numb. And the numbness does, is not alone, it goes with the pain. So Mama also, we just want to reflect that as you were assigned, as you were registered for the prayer line section of the Roadman Ministry, you received a prophetic message, and during that time you were wearing a long dress, Mama, but yet the Spirit of God managed to see through, and it highlighted, it revealed the problems that you were experiencing with your legs for the past 29 years. Share with us, as the man of God was giving you that prophetic message, what came to your mind? I'm, I'm still shocked even today, people of God. I'm still really shocked because now I had made peace with, with my legs. Uh, although I, I wasn't comfortable anymore, I had lost self-esteem because now my legs are, are not nice anymore because of these operations and those things. So I, I, I'm happy that today, uh, that Sunday, Faithful Sunday, worked wonders for me. Let us care for Lord Jesus Christ. 
Mama, we just want to also be a witness. Show us the marks that you had to endure during that time when you were having these problems with your legs. Can you just show us? This is the first operation that I had, this one here. And then this is the second one. And then this is the third one. And then this side again. And then... Just okay. take it easy, Mama. Just okay. explain and nicely. Then this one, this side. And then here. And then the last one is here. Here it is. So I must share with us, as the man of God was praying for you, what were you experiencing? What was happening? We saw you turning and falling on the floor. What was happening to you? Well, after man of God uh, uh, put his hand for the first time on my head, I was like, I don't know what was happening inside of me, but it was like I was shaking. And then I wanted to control myself. And then it's like he throwed me. I, I felt like being I'm thrown aside. That's when I, I like when I see on the tour that I was now next to the to the wall, and then I heard him talking from far. That you see the the problem of legs and the numbness on the left hand side. Let us clear for Lord Jesus. So, Mama, truly, it has been two weeks since you received prayer here at the Roadmap Ministry. Can you share with us how has your two weeks been in relation to your legs? People of God, Emmanuel, I'm, I'm very happy. I have peace inside of me. I, I, I don't feel myself, you know, nothing, nothing uh, uh, makes me hurt or anything. I'm happy, I, I feel fine, I can now put the shoes like I put this. To me, this heel was a high heel. I, w I wouldn't put such a heel with these legs. But today I have shoes on my feet. I am happy. To God be the glory. Hallelujah, let us clear beautifully for Lord Jesus Christ. So, Mama, just to be clear, you've been standing here for over 10 minutes. Are you experiencing any pains or numbness in your feet? I sleep like a baby. People of God, I was sleeping with trapeline. You can name insomnia. You can name any tablet. And I had to take three different sleeping tablets for me to, for them to work. This week, I tried to sleep with even one. It doesn't do me anything. I will sleep at 1 o'clock at my own time when I want to sleep. It will be only then I sleep. And when I sleep, I sleep so peacefully. So everything is at peace. And your feet, what of your feet? Tell oh, us about your feet. Hey, I, um, to God be the Lord, good people. I'm okay. Thank you, Jesus. I'm fine. I don't feel any pain. To God be the glory. Let us celebrate our Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Mama, after all that God Almighty has done for you, what words of advice would you like to share with the people of God? Uh, people of God, uh, God's timing is the best time. Indeed it is. And like men of God that week, faithful week Sunday, he said, when God is quiet, you mustn't think that he rejects us. I, I've, I'm so happy to see that God knows me. All along, God was aware. And God waited for me to run out of ideas and wisdom and wait upon him. Nana Sekina now Rumudimu has forgotten about me. Because last year, I decided to I stay at home. I'm not going to any church anymore. I'm just sick and tired. And that's when things were happening in my life. But this faithful Sunday, 
I will always glorify the Lord for his special message to my life. Thank you, Jesus, for knowing me. We believe that your faith has been lifted by the clip you have just watched. To witness more of God's power through his servant at the Roadmap Ministry, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, and follow us on our Twitter and Instagram pages.